Welcome. In this Revit tutorial, I will be showing you how to create and edit revision clouds. Let's start by creating a revision cloud. Uh, to create one, you'll go to Annotate and then select Revision Cloud. Uh, it'll open up the cloud sketch mode in which you can start drawing your cloud. Uh, first thing you want to do is select what sequence uh, your cloud is to be included in. So we'll choose sequence 5. And so now we'll draw our cloud. We'll say something changed in our general notes. And as you can see, there's no pretty way to draw clouds, and there's no way to change this nice little double hump cloud that Revit uses as default. Uh, so when your cloud is done drawn, just go ahead and hit finish. And then we'll tag the cloud. And it'll pull the revision number of the cloud in the tag. And you can draw the revision clouds either on the sheet or in the views themselves. And the title block will update automatically with the revisions that are on the sheet. Now, if we want to change anything to do with oh, the revision numbers or descriptions and stuff, uh, you go to view and then revisions. This is where we can choose whether we want to show all clouds or cloud and tag or just tags or none. So for instance we can tell you we just want to see tags for all the other revisions except for revi the current one which is five. If we hit apply it'll hide the clouds over here but it'll still leave the revision on here since it, this there has been clouds on the sheet. Uh, we can also tell it just to hide everything if we just want to see the the latest and greatest revision. Uh, to add revisions, uh, it's quite simple. Just hit add. Uh, you can choose either numeric, alphabetic, or none. Um, so then we'll just go ahead and add a date. Uh, description. Let me just say. Let's call this one a construction set. And we'll say we'll show cloud and tag. And we'll hit OK. Now to make revisions show up that aren't on the sheet, if, like there's no clouds on here, but we still want this to show up and say revision 6. Uh, in order to do that, you just come down to the sheet in your project tree, select the sheet, and it'll pull up the properties for that sheet. Scroll down to where it says revisions on sheet and hit edit. And then we can tell it to add the construction set onto that. When we do that, it'll add that revision onto the sheet. So that way if nothing actually changed on the sheet but you still need to show it, you can. Uh, now, if we wanted everything to be alphabetic instead of numeric, we can change that here. And hit apply. That updates all the revision clouds throughout the whole project, and they will all uh, show you know A, B, D, E, F, uh, according to what sequence number they were. Uh, now, if we don't like that order uh, for the alphabetic sequence, we can actually change the order of it. So you just hit the options button there, and then you tell it what you want it to be. So, for instance, we can say sequence one is going to be. P for permit, we do B for bid, um, well, we'll do an N for the one that's not shown, we'll do a code, we'll do a code reply, and then we'll do a construction set. We'll hit OK. Yeah, now he's got two C's in there. So then we'll do an S for set. We'll hit OK. And We'll hit apply and it'll update all the revision clouds to show it in what order you want it to be. So it's pretty handy for if you're doing like owner revisions and you want to put O's or you know permit sets and use P's or something like that or just like an X for Delta X until you know what you want it to be. Um, so that's the basics 
of how you create revision clouds and edit them. So hopefully it was informative. Thank you.